We're in the cab, uh, in the cab, we're in the car, uh, <laughs> we're in the car with uh, Gabby Jury in Hinsdale on this beautiful street, uh, Gabby. So uh, as we move along, talk to me about uh, what we're looking at. Well, this is um, the northeast side of Hinsdale. Um, the elementary school for this section of town is the Lane School. We're on Ravine Street, uh, which I think is one of the prettier streets in Hinsdale. It has very mature trees. Um, Lots of mix of housing, uh, lots of new construction, but the older houses that are on the street have been very well maintained. We're going up on Oak now, similar um, street, and um, this is a very, it's been a very popular neighborhood. Uh, the Lane is a very good elementary school, and um, this is a nice walk to town location. There is an east side train station um, not far from here. Uh, it's, you know, it's a few block walk, and um, it's a sure. nice neighborhood. Price ranges of homes, something large on the corner like that might go oh, for? Oh, that would be up, upwards of a million, million and a half, and um, these smaller houses are in the threes and fours, some of them are 500. And we are actually pulling up to um, another home here on Oak Street that's listed for 599, and um, it is an older home. tree canopy. It is. It's really nice. And it's, today is such a beautiful day. We really get a good feel of this nice spring. Well, here we are. We're at 721 Oak. This is listed for $5.99. It just came on the market. We'll change your pace now, Gabby. We're on the inside. Yes, this house conveniently was on Brokers Open. It's a new listing. Um, it is, the address is 721 North Oak. It's listed for $599. Um, it's got a very nice spacious living room. And just talking with the agent, um, it has um, four bedrooms upstairs and two bedrooms or two bedrooms slash office on the main level. So it's got a lot of space for um, people that have a large family and need that extra room. And this is the living room with an attached dining area, a really pretty fireplace. Nice hardwood floors. Um, why don't we take a look let's, at the family room? Let's take a look around. Yep. Yeah. I, I like the flow of what I've seen so far. Yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? I like the colors. Uh, House has a lot of curb appeal from the outside. Yes. Is that a wood burning fireplace? Yes. Yes. So we'll take a walk through the kitchen and uh, that'll lead us to the family room. This is an associate from our office, Mary Strong. Good morning, Mary. Good morning. So, um, anyway, here's the kitchen. It's got a lot of space in it, lots of nice cabinet space, good appliances. They're not utilizing this area right here. Yeah, and it's a nice eating area. Plenty of space for a breakfast table in Plenty here. Plenty of space, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hardwood floors. Um, upstairs laundry, that's very convenient, having the laundry right where mom usually is cooking anyway. Absolutely. And, uh, good good counter like space that. for workflow. Mm -hmm. And just real easy access to the dining room here. Very, very nice. Then you pass through here into the family room. Oh, there's a back staircase. Yeah. That's a ah. nice front and back staircase. That is a nice treat mm -hmm. when you've got a young family. So there's a very nice family room. Was this an addition? Yes. Yeah. yeah so nice That's room floors. Oh, built-in surround. Yeah, sound. it's got uh, surround sound, and, and then also goes outside too. Oh, speakers. that's nice. Uh, and that's there's a great. A nice door here out to the backyard. Oh, love that second staircase. It's great. I do. Yeah. yeah, keep the grubby little munchkins out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a nice wide staircase, you know, so you need to move furniture up or down. Yeah. Very, very nice. nice to do. And four bedrooms on a single level is good too. The the home we yes. homes we saw earlier, Gabby, were those also uh, four bedrooms on one Threes level? Three and four is all on the same level on the second level. On the same yeah. on the second level, so. Well, not the ranch houses, but yeah, on the same level. Do people still have a stronger preference for having four on one level as opposed to splitting them? I, I think it depends on their family situation, right? On the age of their children, but I think. Young it's, children or teenagers? Mm -hmm. Teenagers, you might want to get far away from them. <laughs> So there's a, that garage looks somewhat newer to a large two-car garage, nice patio, good size yard. Um, yeah, this is a very, very nice house. And Let's take a walk back there. Big, beautiful tree that's about to start budding. 
keep the air conditioning bills down. This house also has three zone heating, um, so I'm sure it's probably very efficient to maintain. I like the flowering. Uh, is that a crab apple? I'm not very good Forsythia. on plants. Forsythia. Forsythia. Mm -hmm. Ah. So Forsythia. It's usually one of the first plants that blooms in the spring, and they are wild and voracious growers. We have tree houses and slides uh, for the neighbors, so we can send the kids over to play with the neighbors. <laughs> Perfect. It's very pleasant back here. The exterior of the home looks like it's been fairly well maintained. To, yeah, it looks working. like it's been recently painted. Um, might have been a ranch that had a second story put on it. So this is a very nice location. You can still walk the train from here. It's a bit more of a haul to get into town. It's a short walk to the elementary school. And again, a con we've now looked at three homes in a very comparable price range. Mm -hmm. And they're all very different uh, within, you know, not a significant price spread.